What's going on guys, Smith here once again from Palmer's FC, signing in for Soccer AM as we recreate the Euros. What do you mean you haven't seen the other videos? Be sure to go and check them ones out as well. But we're going to head straight into things, starting with the quarterfinals. It's Poland versus Portugal. Now let me introduce you to the quickest goal of Euro 2016. It's Krasinski with a cross onto Lewandowski. Oh my god. Well, he was actually meant to score. And when that did go in, it was actually registered the second fastest Euro goal ever. 33 seconds behind Dmitry Kirichenko for Russia back in 2004. You remember that, right? Against Greece, the eventual winners of Euro 2004. I'm sure that wasn't going through Lewandowski's head at the time. He's just happy to get his first goal of the tournament from open play. And just like normal in these videos, celebrating to no one. I'll tell you what he wouldn't have been happy about, though. Renato Sanchez being able to play the 1-2 with Nani here as he makes it to the edge of the box, fires it with the left, and that is into the back of the net. 1-1, just how the Portuguese like it. Being level. But certainly no excuse for this defending here. He's pretty much running away from the ball. Yes. But anyway, Renato Sanchez and the rest of the Portuguese celebrate. Ronaldo has his moment too. The game stayed level and it went to penalties. Blazikowski with this one saved and you can see that he's very distraught with the fact that his country could be going out. Come on Kev, play the game. We're trying to recreate the Euros. That's better. So all that was left to do for Charisma or this Portuguese gang leader, I can't work out the difference, was to slide it home. And he did just that. And Portugal continued the trend of not winning a game inside 90 minutes. Yet they find themselves in the semi-final. Well done to them, I guess. Moving on to the second quarter final from the Grandstad Lille Metropole. It's Wales versus Belgium. But we've kind of got a problem though. Nangolan's goal for Belgium was pretty decent. It was a great hit from way downtown to put them 1-0 up. And now a bunch of players that never made it professionally are trying to recreate it. This was probably the best effort. Sarcasm. But imagine one flies in when you're not recording. But unfortunately for Belgium, they were relaxing at the back from this corner. Ashley Williams heads it in, unmarked, and the only home nation in this competition go wild on the sidelines. And Ronaldo had his moment too. But it got worse for Belgium. Oh yes. Ramsey's ball into the box to Robson Kanu, who completely mugs off the Belgian defence, slots it past the keeper. And to think this lad is a free agent right now, I'm pretty sure he's going to get snapped up before the season starts. And as for Wales, they're on the brink of reaching the semi-finals of Euro 2016. Just let that sink in. Ronaldo. But it got even better for Wales as Sam Vokes headed this one in and then the party really begun. And they've booked themselves a semi-final game against Portugal. Happy days. Finally, it's Germany versus Italy. This is an interesting one, wasn't it? And things start well for Germany. Rather than assisting a goal, it's Mesut Ozil that's putting it into the back of the net for once. But just as you thought Germany were going to grind out a 1-0 win, Jerome Boateng pops up with a lovely handball here. And how's this for technique? From way downtown, that's a decent shot, but unfortunately Italy have got themselves a penalty. Stepping up to take that one was Benucci, who equalised and wants everybody to look at his face. Extra time couldn't separate the two teams, so we went to penalties. Plenty of people missed, including Muller. Pella then sent his shot wide, Schweinsteiger blasted over, and Zaza eventually did the same. Darmain missed. Nope, we'll try that again. Darmain missed. That's right. But finally, Hector steps up and Germany win yet another penalty shootout. Would you believe it? Meanwhile, over on our channel, England are out. So we've gone down memory lane to try and cheer ourselves up. See you on the other side.